Hey Mac users, this is a video tutorial on how to get a uh, black menu bar um, up, up here and a black dock or invisible dock. Um, many people have been asking on uh, how to get a black uh, menu bar because it looks cool with the uh, MacBook Pro facade. Um, and many people have been uh, giving answers to this problem. Um, but they don't work, or if they do work, they don't work with the full screen applications, it glitches out, uh, whatever the problem is. Um, but I have a, a good way for you to do that right now. Um, so the first thing you do is you're going to go to your browser, and you're going to go to maxthemes.com, um, or just click on the link in the description. Um, this is a guy who designed a Black Finder menu bar to install on your computer. This is only for... Um, OS X 10.7 through 10.7.2, uh, that is OS X Lion. Um, do not install this on Snow Leopard. It'll mess things up, and there are better ways to do it. Um, you can do Snow Tunes or anything like that on, on Leopard. Uh, this is only for OS X Lion, so click on this uh, download link right here, and it'll go ahead and start your download. Um, I've already got it, so I'll just show you that right now. Um, so you're going to open it up. Um, Right here, double click the uh, DMG. It'll open up and it'll, you'll see these two options right here. It says Obsidian Menu Bar and Restore OS X Menu Bar. So there's two. Um, when you can install it, and then once you've installed it, you can remove it using that. There's also a goodies thing that's got a wallpaper. It's, uh, it's a pretty decent wallpaper, I guess. But uh, go ahead and double click the um, Obsidian Menu Bar. So it'll give you this installation page. You just go ahead and go through the steps. Continue. Agree. Uh, install on your uh, operating system. And you authenticate it. Uh, messed up. Okay. And it will install on your computer. Um, so it's pretty quick. It's easy. Uh, it's not too, too difficult, I don't think. Um, and it won't take very long. So... Once it installs, it'll give you this uh, little option thing. It'll give you suggestions on what you should do to make it look cooler. Um, basically, you just go to System Preferences, and you can uh, change the menu bar to translucent. From here, oh, I'm sorry, from uh, right here, you go to this button right here. Um, just gives you some suggestions to make it look cooler. Um, if you want your clock to be... Uh, white, which I already made it. You can download iStat Pro or iStat Menus um, or White Clock or Meridian. Just gives you some ideas. So once you do that, you click close. And then after you do that, you're gonna want to uh, log out of your uh, computer, then log back in. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so I have logged out and logged back in, and as you can see, my Finder bar is now black. Um, looks pretty sweet if you ask me. Um, it's uh, pretty cool looking. You can see everything pretty well. I uh, made it all white. Um, that's automatic. And you made my uh, clock and battery white so I can see it. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to get a black dock. Um, or if you want, invisible dock. Looks pretty cool either way. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to open up your OS X Lion hard disk and uh, go to library I'm sorry system uh, library uh, core services right here this little X on the folder core services and go to dock and you're gonna wanna open there uh, show the package contents you're not gonna double click it you're gonna show the package contents so right here you have the contents folder you're gonna go to resources and basically what we're doing right now is we're gonna be changing the uh, image file that displays the dock so basically what it's made of um, so the the four files the five actually five files that you need are the front line um, so you go to the front line right here dot png you're going to want to take that uh, and uh, click on that so you've got that there and you want to go to uh, s curve uh, s curve i or l I can't tell what that is s curve uh, l s curve m s curve sm and S curve XL. So add those to the mix. Holding Command, you can click. So you, I've selected all, all, uh, all five of those. Um, 
you're going to want to drag them to your desktop. Okay. Um, so now you're going to open up these uh, PNG files individually. And uh, I recommend saving an extra copy um, of your PNG files just in case. Um, in case you mess it up, you want to get it back to your original color like I have here. Um, so you save a backup of those and put it in my hard disk over here, um, whatever you want to do. So you open these up. And for each one, you're going to want to go to Tools, uh, Adjust Color. And you're going to want to move these over to the right. So uh, uh, you move it over to the right, and it makes it all black. Um, you'll have to unlock it because it's obviously a system file, so you just click the unlock button. But as you do that, you've now made it completely black, and it still has this pretty cool wavy pattern on it. So now you uh, exit out of that, and it's saved as black. So you have that here. You go to the next one, and you do this basically over and over and over again. Unlock. So have that one right there. Again, for front line, same thing. To the right. Oops. Unlock. To the right. Oh, sorry, that's messed up. Yeah, the front line is kind of hard. You got to mess with that one. So I figured out that the uh, this one goes to the right. This one goes to the right. This one stays there. It's kind of tricky. To the right, unlock to the right. So the S curve ones are easy. The front line one is the, the tricky one. I don't know why it is, um, but it is just color. This is the last one. So once you have all of your colors adjusted, you can put these back into your doc uh, file. So you go back to your core services, uh, contents, core services, uh, contents resources, um, all that stuff, and you take these out. So you're going to click on Move to Trash. And you have to authenticate because these are system files. So you authenticate that. And then you take these and put them in its place. Authenticate. Okay, so you've copied them there. And now you log out again to get the black dock, which I'll show you now. Okay, so now I'm logged back in again, and you can see that my dock is now shiny black. It is very cool. Um, coupled with this awesome background that I have and the black tool uh, menu bar, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to get an invisible uh, dock, which is just as cool, but the black is shiny and it looks nice, so I like th that the best. Um, but you're going to go back to your... Uh, OSX Lion Disk, go to System, Library, gonna go back to the same place that you got your other files from, Core Services, uh, open up the doc package contents again. Um, and what you're doing now is you're not changing the color, you're going to actually remove the files. Seems kind of crazy, right? Remo removing system files, it should mess things up, but it doesn't mess things up, it just makes it invisible. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out your frontline.png, your S curve L, your S curve M, S curve SM, and S curve XL. I'm going to move those to the trash. Um, you have to authenticate, obviously. So once you do that, you just log out and log back in again. It'll be invisible, which I will show you now. Okay, so now I've logged back in again, and as you can see, my dock is now invisible. It is translucent, and it still has reflections of the icons, which is really cool. Um, I don't know exactly how that works, because there's no dock there. And I don't know if it knows that there's no dock there, but um, it, it's pretty cool. And it's uh, see-through. You can kind of see a little bit down there where it's covering up the background. Um, but it's, it's really cool. Um, I like how it looks. Um, it's sleek. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So if... Uh, if you want that, you can go ahead and do that. And as as you know, you took the files out 
uh, before and put them in the trash. So if you want your doc back again, you can either go to your backup, which you made of your previous files, which is in my uh, hard disk, or you can just go back in your trash and pull your files out um, from the trash and put them back into your core services file. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, tutorial and hope you uh, have fun customizing your Mac. And uh, just subscribe and look out for more videos. Thanks.